Well, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. 65 degrees with sunshine and blue skies. First time I've seen the blue skies in a few days. Kind of liking it, especially the 65 degrees. Hey, I've got a couple of things I want to talk about. Um, nothing major, nothing. Well, one is kind of major, but uh, nothing ex extensive. I'm not going to get into one particular thing. It's just a couple of different things. One has to do with DoorDash. The other one has to do with Spark Delivery. And uh, if that sounds like something y'all are interested in, y'all stick around. Right, some of y'all that do the Spark Delivery or may have got a notification or something or heard about it on these black friday deals i had put a little pop a little screen print of what i got a couple of weeks ago or a week ago can't even remember now it's been a few days ago about the new black friday deals but the deal is from what i can see is it seems to be mostly like one item and the, the biggest difference I've seen is, this is my first one, I pulled in here the other night to get a regular spark order, and then I realized what the sign said. They have a designated parking area for the Black Friday deals. Um, this one is like that. Y'all can see that. So as you see, the numbering it's a lot higher because at this Walmart, it's like one through 10, I believe. Uh, there's 10, there's an 11. I think it's one through 11. I don't know, there may be 12. Anyway, this is like number 56, 57, 58, 59. So it's a huge difference. So if you go to pick up and it says uh, deals on your order, on your spark order look for the designated parking for that area also it has a different phone number to call so um that was one thing i want to talk to you about since i'm here the second one well, wait a minute before we get into that i've just been sitting here watching and i'm not making fun of these folks because I do it too. But how many of y'all come out the Walmart door and you head to where you think that you parked? Dude, where's my car? Only to realize you're three or four aisles over. Yep. I'm sitting there watching people and they'll be going this way, this way. They go way down there and then they come back up like this. And then they come walking by and they parked here behind me. But I do it a lot. So Y'all hold on. I got to talk to this person. <laughs> well, apparently, a worker had the item and he set it to the side for a pickup, but didn't bother to tell anybody where he set it before he left. Now they're trying to call him on the phone. The person walked out here just to let me know yeah, that that's good customer service and i appreciate people like that that still has customer service skills now for the second thing okay y'all ready for this one now listen up this is a serious one because you could really get in trouble over this one and you can't blame DoorDash because you should know better. I have noticed the last two alcohol deliveries that I have had, it says, leave it at the door. Okay. We all know that you have to be of legal age to purchase or order alcohol and how are you going to determine if they are legal if you're just gonna leave it at the door? 
And you may be saying, well, Grandpa, the app told me just to leave it at the door. It ain't my fault. Oh, but it is. Because if you'll read your uh, contract and stuff like that, it, you shouldn't even have to read it. You got to know. In case you don't know, an ID has to be checked whether you're prompted for it or not. And I highly recommend when you go to put it in the notes that you notate the ID was checked. I wouldn't take a picture of it because that's not gonna make people feel real comfortable, but at least you have some kind of note in that particular order, the order history, that you did check the ID. So CYA all the way check those ids don't leave that liquor at the door because you can get yourself in a big bind real quick and from what i've heard they've been actually kind of been doing some little sting operations and uh on delivering people just like us so make sure you're doing what you know you're supposed to be doing I don't want to see anybody get in trouble or I don't want to even hear about it because you all should know. And if you didn't know, you do know now. Uh, the kid walked back out here again and told me that they can't get a hold of the guy that sent it to the side. So the store manager is going out on the floor and going to find the item. Uh, well, not the item, but another item. What am I trying to say? They can't find the one that they already had packaged up and ready to go, so they're going to go out on the floor and get one off the shelf and bring it out here. That makes a little more sense, huh? Trying to complicate things. Hey, I didn't tell y'all. Um, I was watching UDM the other day. If y'all don't know who UDM is, which probably 99.8% of you do, but I'll put a link to his channel down below. Um, but he was talking about this new app called, well, I don't guess it's a new app, mm -hmm. but it's a different app called Daver, D-R-A-I-V-E-R. -E it's an app where you apparently pick up a car like at a car dealership or maybe a mechanic shop and you deliver that vehicle. I don't know anything about it as of yet, but I finally got it and got it installed, got signed, got signed up, got it installed, and uh, you have to do a little driving, uh, just a little test, not a driving test, but like a little test to go through the app to make sure that you understand everything because they show you a little video and then you have to do a little uh, pretend pick up and drop off and all the things you have to do to it or with it you know it's like you have to take the picture of the vehicle on all four sides you have to scan the VIN number or manually enter it. You have to take a picture of the license plate. You have to note any damage as you're taking the pictures. As I say, you take the picture from the front, back. If there's any damages on the hood or the front bumper, then you put it in there. Same thing on the side, the back, and the driver's side. Um, anyway, I'm kind of interested. Apparently, I've got it all done. Because the last thing it said was to do that little test thing. And then I did that. And then I got another text that said that I needed to go into the settings and into the driver's license and upload a picture of my driver's license. And I did that. And then I got another message that said I was ready. I know UDM mentioned it taking, I think he said two years. Now, I don't know. Um, it took me about two days. I think I'm signed up. It says available. 
and I click on the get priority uh, and it's going to be interesting uh, and apparently sometimes you pick up the other drivers and take them to the location now you can use your personal vehicle for that and I, they pay I think in the video they said they paid you 19 cents a mile which is junk but you know Hopefully I won't have to do that. I'd rather just take a car and hitch a ride back. All right, here comes somebody out here to talk to me, I think, so. I'm gonna see what they have to say. Nope, they kept going. Anyway, if y'all are interested in this driver, I will put a link to the site down below. And uh, like I said, Check out UDM's channel. He knows he's he's actually done one, and he did the little ride along doing it. So y'all check out that video, and uh, it, it it'd be interesting. I I want to get a I want to get one of these and just to see. I think he said that his paid like thirty seven dollars, and it wound up taking him like three hours, which. He said most of that time was due to his, you know, because of him, because he didn't know exactly what to do. We're probably all going to be like that. So maybe you can watch that video and hopefully we won't have the same issue. So we'll know, kind of know what to look for. Thanks to UDM. And if I get one, Believe me, I'll drop a video on it, and uh, we'll go from there. This $7 order here waiting at Walmart is not turning out to be very good. But, you know, that brings up another topic. If, you know, you have to wait in line somewhere. People don't like waiting in line. I hate waiting in line at these restaurants and drive throughs and whatnot. But... I'm sitting, sitting in what I would call a hot zone, and I have all my apps running. Well, I did turn Grubhub off because I kept getting these little lower offers were a lot of miles. But I know it'll pick up here in a little bit, so I'll turn it back on. But uh, I'm sitting there waiting on this, and no, I don't like waiting. But what's the difference in me sitting right here waiting on this order are sitting over there in the edge of the parking lot waiting on an order and not having any reason to be there other than waiting on an order. When I can be sitting here waiting on an order I've already committed to while I'm running the other apps to see what else comes up. So I don't know. Sitting and waiting on an order like this is not always a bad thing. Plus, if you ain't pushing that gas pedal down, you ain't running that much gas through the... We're not going to get technical. Injectors. Um, you're not using that much gas. And technically, when it's 65 degrees, I ought to turn the car off. But there was people sitting around, and I'm sitting here talking, and I don't want... Oh, oh here he comes. All right, let's get this loaded up. I'm just going to leave the camera going. Finally get it? Oh yeah, brand new one. Oh, okay. Extra, extra brand new from the brand new one. Right off the floor, <laughs> huh? <laughs> All right, thank you. You too. All right, all right. We are ready to spread our wings and get in flight. Oh, we got a scanned item. So, as far as this goes, it's basically just like the spark stuff that you've been doing if you've been doing them. So, hang on, I'll be right back. All right, we are going to start delivery. We're just going across the road. Then I got to go pick up uh, the missus some dinner. She said if I can deliver other people's food, I can deliver her food. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna have to get off this road and then we're gonna 
talk for just a minute. Y'all hang loose for a second. I got something to tell you. All right, now, get to the delivery drop-off location, and they are out in the yard and talking, and I tell them what I'm doing, and they said, we already got all our stuff from Walmart. That kind of explains why they couldn't find the package in the back room over there is because they had already got it. So, um, we're going to have to hit the help button. I know you can do a return contract driver support. Y'all want to listen in on this? We might as well call them. Let's see. Well, yeah, we'll call them uh, so they can make a return, I guess. We'll head back up there while we're doing this. Thank you, Mr. Bramman. How can I help you today? I guess I had a uh, delivery and I took it to the customer and the customer said that they had already received this delivery. And uh, I guess I just need to return it to the store. I'm back up at Walmart now. Um, yes, yes, sir. In this case, um, you should mark the order, the order as return. Um, could you mark it as return? Well, I'm not seeing a place to mark it returned on this one. Okay. All right. Well, in this case, um, you, you, you are already in, uh, going to the store, right? Yes, I'm here. I just pulled up just now. Okay. All right. Uh, well, I'm going to force complete this order for you. Marking it as returned. Okay. So please allow me one moment on the line. Okay. And I'll be back with you in a bit. All right. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah, on this particular one, there's no place to market return to store. I mean, this is where it is. I hit complete drop off then it's going to make it look like I dropped it off at the customers. You can't do that. So, let them take care of their business, and then we'll take care of this business. Thank you, sir, for holding on the line. Okay, I got a question for you. I, I was just looking in the app, and it says, the only thing I found, it says address not found when you click on that. Then it, then you can return it. Is that how we should go about stuff like this? To get the, yes, to get that prompt. Yes, actually, there are more options. Uh, I guess uh, there is not an option um, for describe what happened with in your case. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, but you could mark it like as as address not found or customer not found. Okay. No, it's better you to call us. Um, um, I leave already the notes uh, saying what happened uh, in this case, in, in this specific case. Um, so, well, in any case, uh, you will have to hear the information. Okay. And do, do I get compensated for this? Yes, for you. There, you're going to receive the payment for the delivery and also you're going to receive a fee uh, for returning the items to the store. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, okay. Is that it? Yeah, it, it cleared off. It, yeah, it cleared off my app now. So, all right. I appreciate your help. All right, sir. Uh, is there anything else that I can help you with today? No, no that was it. Thank you. Have a good day. All right. Well, you're very welcome, sir. I'm going to leave. All right. There you have it. In this particular case, they couldn't, uh, there wasn't an option for already delivered. But yeah, so you get paid for the trip and you get paid for bringing it back. So, anyway, we got that taken care of now. I just got to find somebody to give it back to and let them put it in their system. Okay, we better go pick up the woman's grubber. I'm not going to be able to get in the house after a while, and it's going to be getting a little chilly out here, so 
I'll be on that front porch going, honey, honey, won't you open that door? It's cold outside. Let me sleep on the floor. Yeah, she let me sleep in their bed, but maybe. If I don't get her food in a hurry, she might not. Hey, y'all keep smiling, dashing, dancing, prancing, doing whatever it is you want to do. Just keep doing something, and you got it. You're going to grow old if you don't. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.